This is a Mary May Studio production, where gaming is not for just your average show. Welcome back to Buck Farms. It is now June. The sugar cane is really growing nicely. And I got the mower on the tri the bike mobile. You'll probably guess just by that what we're going to be doing today. However, I would like to finally get all these stupid mounds all settled once and for all. First of all, I'll get the helper window up because they... Terraforming is always easier with it on. No used vehicles for sale except for a bail stacker. <laughs> Landscaping. Soften. Uh, change the brush, brush strength. Yes. And my money's going down, so it is working. That looks better. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go do that in other parts of the farm. And that's got rid of that stupid spot where I got rid of that stump. I don't want to go too close to the field. But I do want to get this road softened up a little bit. Which sucks, because this eats away a little bit at all the money I had saved up for the cotton harvester. There, the good thing is it doesn't change the ground texture any. It just smooths it out. Now there's one more spot that I had to have to deal with here, and that's right here. It's not changing anything here though. Now, how did it do in these other areas? This looks better. I guess we'll know when I'll drive over it. It doesn't look... Still looks pretty bumpy in here. Very bumpy in here. Oh, it's probably not changing anything in here because of all the equipment that's sitting here. Now... Now it looks better. That is what I'm looking for. Good. We softened everything right up. Now that we got all that finally fixed up, maybe I should have planted grass there. Eh, another time. Looks good enough. Let's get on to mowing. Now I gotta head to the shop and get that other mower. Now, from my understanding, I believe there's three different states growth stages of grass. Your first one is your sprouted grass after you've planted or it ends up that way after you've cut the grass. My mouse started sliding off the table here. However, your second and your third stages are harvestable grass, meaning you can cut them. And both give you different yields. If you wait until the last stage of growth, you end up with a higher yield. But you have to wait longer, so you get fewer cuttings. And if you harvest cut right away like we're going to do today 
You can get up to five cuttings in a year compa compared to the three if you wait. So even though we're getting it at a less yield, we're cutting it two more times. So in the end, it really doesn't matter if you wait. Now, I need both silage and hay off that field. I'm not going to make silage this time around because I don't have a baler. I don't have a wrapper. I also don't have a tether for hay, but that is the only thing that I'll need to make hay. Now let's get started here. Get the mowers down and we'll mow it all up. We'll go outside the boundary a bit, try and get as much of that grass as we can. I'll do a couple times around the field and then I'll get the helper going and I'll go find another tractor we'll, that we can use to pick up the tether. It looks like you can cut the shorter grass but it doesn't leave you anything. Okay, this has us back to the beginning. I bet you I could go around the trees a little more. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. This means we'll have to do some grassland care now, which is slightly different from field work. You only need to fertilize once because it takes your second fertilization as your the cutting. Okay, we are going to first of all get rid of that helper window. I'm going to get the helper going on this now. And while he's cutting this, I'll go get the tether. That's usually how I do bailing contracts. I get a helper going and then I get... While he's going, I go get the next piece of equipment. Might as well take this back to the farm. This is still up here since I did a harvesting contract. And by the time I get back with the tether, he should be done. And we can send him and go get them. Either get the helper on the tether and we go get the wind rower, or the other way around. So we can send them to go pick up stuff too. We just got to hook it up for them. Now next month, I should be buying that field next to us. We desperately need it. We have no more straw. The animals are starting to run out. And the grain mill is out of out of product to process. Why is mud in the middle of the road? Well, this is a different view. I don't often drive like this. Oh, that's good there. I might as well hang on to the tether. I mean, I might as well. I've Look how long I've ha hung on to that fertilizer spreader. We have yet to buy it. And how many videos have I done? I still haven't bought a fertilizer spreader. 
Okay, we need a tether. Let's get a decent sized one. That looks good. Lease it for $800. That's not bad. What is going to be bad is if we have to buy that field sooner than we expected. That'll really eat into the savings for that cotton harvester. Well, I'm not too sure if I'll do many more map reviews. That was a pretty lengthy video. I don't know if it was fully worth doing it. And since I can't see myself often playing on a lot of different maps, go home! Maybe it's because I put the uh, doghouse too close to the road. Okay, and we will tag now. Which is essentially just turning the grass. So it dries it out. Making hay. Now, I don't have a baler for this either, but... I do have the forage wagon. I can always pick it up with that once I windrow it. And I do have a windrow it. Now this is really what we needed for the cows. Just a full on grass field. And we missed a whole bunch of grass. Now, I'm pretty sure we have to mulch the grass as well. Special crops, grass. Grass can be cut with the mower, grass, the after the grass is cut, the tether, which is what we're doing now, a windrow for collecting. Rollers in the grassland care section of the shop can be used after mowing grass. Rolling over fresh cut grass will grant you a fertilization stage for the next harvest. Rolling over the grass that's already grown will set it back to the first stage of growth. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's a mulcher. I think it's it just a roller in grassland care. There it is, grassland care. All of these are rollers. Okay, so we just use a roller after. And that will give us the fertilization stage. That is new for this game. Okay, we will have to go fix up what the helper didn't do over there. Okay, now the helper's going on this. So we'll let him finish drying out the hay, and we'll go get the windrower. All it needs is the front mower. That's how little he left. Now, I believe I left the wind rower at the shop as well. So this is the sugar cane, and this field here is the one I want to buy. It is not yet ready to harvest. <clears throat> I think I'll replant it with something that provides us with straw. So that is the only extra thing in grassland care, is the roller. Now if we check that map, growth on 41, there's none. Yes, it does say it's been fertilized once already. And that appears to be due to the fact that we just cut it. 
So we either can fertilize it once more <coughs> using manure or solid or liquid fertilizer or we roll it. Okay, time to windrow. Now we basically have the same width of machine on the back of our tractor so he won't be going much faster than me. Come on, get moving. Don't want to mix too much grass in. Otherwise that'll screw up the bale. I want to keep it to the light brown, the light green dried grass. That should be good for headlands. Now I'm debating whether I should have helper going on this or start collecting all this up right away. Well, the tedding's almost done. I'll just keep going with this. Now, well, that's got a few rows done now. So does anybody know what I have in my, the red barn on the farm? Still no guesses for that. Now this should be the, the last pass with the tether coming up. And I will keep that on the farm because it will also come in handy for... What is it? Uh, bailing contracts. There is one field on this map, it's towards the bottom of the map, that is just huge. This equipment here would be just too small for it, it'll take way too long to cut and bale and tet all that grass. I think when I did it, it took me two hours and that was with supplied equipment. Okay, we'll get this guy going. And we will put the tether away somewhere. Now, it's going to be easy because I'm only taking it across the road. And I'm going to dump it all into the cows as much as I can. Now, whatever doesn't fit there, I'll put into the... The hayloft. That's the, that's the words I was looking for. Now, I'm only going to do a couple loads of this, because I want to end this episode here pretty soon. Okay. It is hay time. Well, we're full already. We didn't even get to make it all the way around. Okay, we are out of straw. a shame. Well, hopefully they can last another month. Okay, now we can start on the land work. We've got all the headlands all collected. This will definitely produce enough hay and silage. We just gotta produce it more faster to get us going. Holy cow, this does not hold a lot, does it? We're already full and we already did one row. Only did one row. So this is only one method of collecting it. We could also collect it with bales. Either with a square baler or a round baler. However, you then have to go and collect all the bales. For what we need right now, this works. Probably works better than the silage bales. because We can just collect it up right away and then dump it into wherever we need it. Especially since we have that hayloft. So to pick this up, it works pretty much the same. You just 
start it, lower the pickup, a baler works exactly the same way, and you just go. Downside is with the baler, the round bales you have to stop and unload. Square bales you can just go. The next bale will push the push the old bale out. Round bales it doesn't work like that. Guess I didn't do all of the headlands. Well, we are almost full. We might as well head back. That is it for cutting. Pretty straightforward. The only difference with silage is we wouldn't have tetted it. We only would have windrowed it. And then once windrowed, we would have bailed it and wrapped it which I will show you in another video. If you enjoyed this one, please leave a like and a comment if you wish to do so. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Very simple episode of cutting grass and tedding hay. I hope that was... You're new to Farming Simulator, I hope hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Joe. I will see you all next time. It looks like uh, the cow, cow barn is full. Well, in between episodes here, I will put all the rest of this hay in the hayloft. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.